first at 5.30, breaking news out of one socket where there's a heated budget battle going on between City Hall and the schools. The mayor was threatening to cut the department's purse strings, potentially leaving teachers without pay. The meeting between both parties just wrapped up. Eyewitness News reporter Nick Nwosu joins us now with the late breaking details live from the mobile newsroom. Aaron, Mayor Menard and the school department did not agree on a balanced budget, but the mayor did agree to release the funds to the school department, which means that teachers and faculty and staff will be getting their paychecks tomorrow. Woonsocket School Superintendent Robert Girardi says he sent Mayor Susan Menard a proposed budget back in July. The mayor says she never got it. She'd like to see us move forward with a um, request for additional funds and a Carrillo action. And we don't believe we're at that point. And our attorneys and the Commissioner of Education have advised us to go another route. So rather than balance the budget today, the superintendent and school committee chair sent Menard a letter outlining their plans to cut costs, like switching health care providers and renegotiating contracts with teachers. When we are still working at ways to reduce the deficit, we, we, we have several causes of action that we're working on. The school department believes the mayor is trying to rush them into a Carullo Act, which would require taxpayers to foot the bill. The mayor declined our request for comment today, though she did agree to give the school committee the funds they're entitled to from the city, allowing the school department more time to cut costs. The school committee and I would love to have a performance audit because maybe the performance audit will yield cuts that we can implement to help us reduce the current projected deficit. Now, though they do have the money to make payroll for the near future, the school department is still required to balance their budget to avoid any financial problems later in the year. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.